Hi, everybody. Mike Brown back with you again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements course. We're ready now to work on our images in the expert mode in Editor. So one of the first things you're going to do with your images when you bring them in is you're going to crop them, straighten any crooked horizons, correct for camera distortion, bulging or perspective distortion, both the perspective and lens distortion, and also recompose, which we took a look at over here in the guided edit mode briefly. We're going to go back and in the expert mode, take a good close look at that. All of these corrections that we make before we even do anything to the image. So let's get started. I'm going to open up an image into Camera Raw first. And I want you to take a quick look at this image. I've already made white balance, exposure, color, and a little clarity. I've also, I want to take a little bit of, come on, a little bit of noise reduction, just the generalized stuff that we do, and that's how quick that was. There is a crop and straighten tool feature in here. We'll talk about that in a moment, but look first at the edge of the building. It's not only perspective distorted, it's bulging a little bit wider. That's the wide angle lens uh, barrel distortion, they called it. We can't pull that out in here. We could crop the image, and that's all we have the option of doing is purely cropping. But I don't want to, I'm going to take that away. Option or Alt turns the cancel to reset, and bring it back. I don't want to remove any of the area of the image because as we correct pers perspective, it will tend to remove it anyway by torquing it out of the image. I need as much as I can get. But if you have a landscape or a shot of somebody, everything else is fine, no distortion. All you need to do is cropping. By all means, just go ahead and take your crop tool and move the corners any way you particularly want to, to get the crop that you want, and then enter it, and it's non-destructive. The straighten tool, same thing. All you do is click and drag where the horizon will be, and it will turn it and crop it into that point. Okay, so let's bring her on into Editor. First thing we do with an image when we open it up, no matter what, duplicate the background layer in case somewhere down the line you need to go back to the original to pull something. Right now we have just the background layer. This is a two-key shortcut, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and the letter J, or go to the Layer menu, Duplicate Layer, or Across the top of the Adjustments layer, the Layers panel with the Adjustments at the right-hand side, the drop-down list, there is Duplicate Layer. But we're going to use our shortcuts, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, plus the letter I hear you, the letter J, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, J, we've got the layer duplicated. So now we work on this layer and the background is left alone. First thing I want to do is correct perspective and camera distortion at the same time. So let's go to the filter menu to correct camera distortion and watch what happens automatically when I open it up. Look at that curved edge here. Filter, correct camera distortion, turn off the grid, and look, the edge is already straightened out without any control changes at all. The filter recognized in the data inside of the that comes with this image, the camera and the lens, and it corrected it. Now, if it didn't, here's the distortion, barrel distortion right here. You can make your sliders, add or subtract. In this case, it's just zero because the filter automatically took it away. Now, vignetting, we have just a little darkness in this corner and a little up in here so we can this is vignetting. You see it's dark or it's bright. We're going to put in about maybe three points. <coughs> Four points. And there we have a little bit of vignette. Let's take the preview. A little bit darker and a little bit. There we go. We've already lost a little area, if you can see down in here, as we remove the distortion automatically. 
That's why we didn't crop it in camera raw. We still have space left, and we have to be very careful. I should have thought about it when I shot the building and given a little more space on the right. That line is right there, so we have to be careful about that. Perspective control is next. Vertical and horizontal. Vertical, this way it's going to make the top get larger. This way it'll make it smaller. So we go this way, and you can correct, or this way, and you can go really crazy. So we'll pull it back. But see what happens as we correct the top. This line is not being, it's no longer in the picture, a bad intersection. So I'm going to back it up just a little bit. And I don't want to lose the top side of the sky either. So we'll just take about maybe even a little less than that. Okay. And horizontally, let's see what happens if we go this way. That's not going to help us a lot. We'll just leave it at that. I should have left more space, but we've got this. And let's take the preview. We went from there to there. It's looking a little better. So let's go ahead and accept that. The edge extension, what that shows you is where you've done it. You can just show larger or smaller, or just pull it up or pull it down so that you can pull some of that back in. But we're going to leave it right here. Click OK. And now it's applied the corrections. There's where we started, and there's where we are. Everything's looking good. Now, what we want to do 